One day, I sat in a London cafe. I had a latte, while all around me the hip brigade sat transfixed by their gleaming Apple Macs. They don't even have CD drives these days. I wondered what it was they were typing. Insta posts, job applications, or were they involved in more subversive creations? A fetish blog, feminist theory, a novel set on the shores of Lake Erie. Something commanded their rapt attention. Perhaps they were engaged in a long, torturous thread on the Twitter contraption. Outside was a belter, cold but fresh. A curly-haired bloke came in with his dog, whose tail wagged as he paid at the till. Open mic night sounded fun, but not quite as wild as speed quizzing with Phil. But I was packed and set fair for home. So, after a modest but hearty repast, I paid the nice lady and got out of there fast.